Hi there, it's Jerzy Segal. Welcome back for another secret review, and this time it's going to be about Lambert and Butler. It says Lambert and Butler original here, original in blue, L and B. Uh, well, what else? I'm not that big of a fan of those uh, silver metallic colors. I don't like it. I think it looks pretty dull. I prefer some of the design than these. You know, metallic. I'm not going to buy a car, I just want to buy a packet of cigarettes. I don't like that look. Anyway, if people like it. Uh, King size 20, LMB Original Imperial Tobacco. It's got, uh, well, you know, made in the EU uh, recycle logo. That's what it's on here. King size 20. On the other side, you got the, uh, the, the tax strip here. Uh, so it's uh, 20 cigarettes, 5 euro 70, it was just before the hike, now it's 6 euros a pack. Uh, Lambert and Butler Original. That's the dog, crazy dog. Uh, LMB original here. LMB original on bottom, very original. And, uh, well, you know, a lovely picture, uh, x ray stuff. You know, oh, lung cancer, it seems. Anyway, that's what it is. Stop it now! The company Lambert and Butler got founded in 1934 in at London by Charles Lambert and his brother Walter Butler. They started manufacturing cigarettes in 1876. In 1901, the company was one of the 13 founding members of Imperial Tobacco, thanks to the, the website Sigzam, uh, at Austria. Where is it? Oh, it's got that blue foil on the inside with L and B written on it. L and B. L and B. Uh, well, it's kind of different. I've seen that on Mayfair cigarettes, for example. You know, that blue, blue, blue color. Email info. Anyway, so this is a pack I bought in, uh, that RJ bought for me in uh, in Belgium actually, but on the Belgian coast I can't find these um, inland. Fucking flies! Uh, I can't find them inland, so it's pretty much marketed here um, towards British citizens coming in uh, on the continent to to shop and buy cigarettes. So the manufacturers thought uh, of you about you. Of you, uh, you know, in uh, so they offer their cigarettes so that you can buy at kind of fair price, at least compared to you. Oh, that's that's strange. Well, the lines here, you got that those strips here. It's it's kind of embossed. You know, I could do that all day long. Anyway, uh, well, 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 uh, we kind of smoke. One of those, that's the goal. Here, that's the goal. Oh, that's, there. that's called the cigarette pack. The cigarette packet pocket. Packet pocket. Ah, very interesting. They've changed the design because last time I had those, it was what, two years ago or something. I don't remember seeing that kind of design on the on the, the actual uh, tipping paper. It's not really that cork size, it's just an orange looking tipping paper and it's got L and B on it just like it's got here it's got the very logo so L and B maybe you can see it's got L and B kind of very very strange very very interesting at least and then L and B in in a black black format here black 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 square so it's got a uh, rip paper, but the the rips don't show that much. So it looks almost like a a plain paper here. <sighs> the smell is very promising. It smells nice. It smells like a Virginia cigarette, English blend cigarette. So that is very natural, um, as far as a you know, cigarette blend can be. A very natural. That is no not many additives. On it. it doesn't smell like cocoa powder, it doesn't smell like licorice. You know. Yeah, it smells like a Virginia tobacco, slightly sweet, faintly sweet smell. Slightly acidic smell. It smells nice. When you open the bag, you go, oh, that's gonna be a good one. Fortunately, it doesn't taste as nice as it smells. So, dry pop, nothing.
No problem with the first drag. Actually, it's I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it doesn't have any nasty chemical taste. Nothing comparable to Benson Hedges Gold, for example. Those the Benson Hedges Gold are good, and to me that is the English taste. If you want to know what's an English blend, what's an English taste, Benson Hedges, uh, Cravenet, if you can find those, uh, they're sold in France. They were sold in Britain. I don't know if it's still you know easy to find in Britain. There are reviews of people who bought them in Britain, so I guess it could be, but they might have removed it from from the sales, not distribute distributed anymore. So we kind of got my British accent with me. I don't know. At the same time, it's good. It's not how to say that. It doesn't have any particular flavor. It's got um, uh, well, yeah, an English an English taste. For a cigarette. This one burns kind of nice, but sometimes when you take a drag of those, I'm gonna gonna go and hit it a little harder. You know, it does that. And it does you know it's it's got that uneven burn when you when you take deep drags on it. A little more than other cigarettes. You know, most cigarettes, the paper, you know, you gotta give it time to to resume its normal burning and nice and even burn. But yeah, not that, not that, you know, not that great when you hit it hard. Anyway, mm. it's getting very harsh now. Uh, definitely um, in the in the upper part of the throat. It's got a, quite a quite a tickle. It's got yeah, kind of a a nice harsh kicking kicking taste. And it burns pretty fast, in my opinion. Maybe it's just my impression, but I think it burns pretty fast. Oh, look at that! I get probably like a, a stem or something in it. You can see at the top here, it's got a stem in it, so it's not not that great quality of a uh, of blend. And lots of stem in it. Fucking flies go away. The filter is kind of collapsing now. Tipping paper separates away from the filter quite a bit. Uh, well, I would say it's discolored all, all on all the surface of the filter. Not really centered. Uh, but that doesn't say anything. Oh, I forgot to talk about the perforation. I can't see perforation, so they might be really tiny. Oh man, I forgot to do that. And it's not good to do that when it's lit because you get the boom stuff and you know it's hot so it burns. I can't I can't quite find a, a line of perforation. So I think it's an yeah, it might be very tiny. Uh, well it's hard to find. I know it's got one. It's got some but can't really see. I don't know if it's a like a zone, like a, an area with a with a very very small, or it's it's more of a line. I think it's more of a kind of an area of the, the filter that is perforated. Mm. As I said, the filter is collapsing. So now, when you take drag, it it's go it's coming very hard on the around the filter. In fact, the taste is not so nice. Um, I've had better ones. Yeah, burns kind of, kind of hot. Let's go and stub it out here. So it's not my favorite. Uh, it's not the worst of all the the British, British cigarettes, but hmm, what to give? I, I would give those a seven out of ten. So slightly above average, uh, above average, I would say, but nothing. Nothing really fancy, nothing that you would absolutely want those over over another brand. Uh, I don't like the design of the package. That is secondary, obviously, but 
the aftertaste. It's not that great, and the smell, leave it off, it's, it's kind of a... Well, I'm not gonna say it's disturbing for others, but it's kind of not... It's kind of a strong, strong-smelling cigarette. It's, it's like... You, you, you can't hide the fine here, so... I, I see that for some cigarettes, but... So, the Lambert and Butler, I would say 7 out of 10. It packs in a, uh, I would say, a good, good nicotine, a good amount of nicotine. It's no problem with that. It's not super strong, but obviously those are limited by, by low. I forgot. Uh, 10 milligrams tar, not 0.9 milligrams nicotine, 10 milligrams carbon dioxide. It's pretty much up to the limit of the machine measured um, TNCO uh, ceilings, uh, right? The levels that you can have, the yields. Uh, yeah, let's get, let's get the serial number here that is, I wouldn't say embossed, but stamped on it. Well, I think that's it for this review. Uh, don't forget to read, comment, subscribe. Yeah, Lambert Butlock, you might like those. Uh, they're kind of in the eight, eight pound range now in Britain. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's premium price, I would say, pretty much. I, I should check that how much it is now, but it's really hard to know uh, because prices can vary quite well in the United Kingdom. Uh, Lambert and Butler, they're not bad. They're not bad. Um, you, you got, if you get only that, it's okay. It's not something, whoa, if I had only that, man, I would quit immediately. No, it's not that time. But it's not really, you know, it's 7 out of 10, 6.5, 7 out of 10, nothing great. And I think they, they come now a little cheaper than they used to be. Um, better quality cigarettes, vents and hedges go win over these every day. Uh, that is for sure. Uh, there are worse cigarettes, obviously, but generally in budget range. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to repeat myself if I, if I carry on now. So Lambert Butler Original, uh, with the kind of the new packet, recent packet, I would say. So, that was it for this review, and I apologize for the talk to Louis as long as you eat well. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, all that good things. Thanks to all the subscribers, all the new, even more to the old subscribers. And, uh, well, have a nice day.